shall we pray? Our Father, we thank you so much. We give you the glory for the privilege to be in your presence at this moment. Lord, I pray that it will not just end in saying, prosperity is my birthright, but actualizing it. I pray that the spirit of the living God will lead us in a higher dimension. Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Powers contending over my finances be roasted by fire. Powers contending over my finances be roasted by fire. In Matthew chapter 11, Matthew chapter 11, Verse 12. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. We discover that God's plan and purpose for his children is it will be fine, it will be well. The blood of the Lamb had cleared the road that the most vilest sinner can march into the kingdom. That all Calvary has purchased, his children can freely enjoy. The question is, why is the kingdom of God suffering violence? Who is the architect of this violence? There's no more war in heaven. The war had shifted ground from heaven to earth. Is it God that is causing that make the kingdom to suffer violence? Is it God that is delaying the blessings of his own children? Is it God that delighted in the prosperity of his children, causing violence, hindering them, making them not to? They stretch forth their hands, it will end up in futility. They won't catch the object because of the violence around. We will get to know that. And so Jesus said, My people, those of you who are take it easy type, the kingdom of God is under attack. The enemy, the devil, has vowed never to allow genuine believers enjoy the goodness of Calvary. Look at it here. Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians 
chapter 6. I read from verse 10. Ephesians 6, from verse 10, it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. What's the essence of talking about strength? Some brethren will tell us, Christ has paid it all. Just relax. Have it. Apostle Paul is saying, that's one side of the coin. The other side of the coin is, you need strength. You need power. You need to be firmly rooted. You need to be focused and undaunted in making sure that which you have laid your hands to, no power will edge you out. He said, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God. If there is no battle, there is no need of weapon. If there is no war, nothing to, why, what do you need jet fighters and jet bombers for? If there is peace everywhere, you don't need ammunition. What, for what? It is because of cacophony, scatter, scatter, disharmony, troubles here and there. And that's why weapons that could compel the troublemakers to submit have been invented. He said, for, verse 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. These are powers, forces contending over your finances. That vowed and said, you will not get it. You will not succeed. You will not make it. You pump the tire, they deflect it. You pump again, they flatten it. You must remain here. You buy to sell is difficult. You manage to sell, you sell below cost price. Since you don't want to do what others are doing, you must make sure you remain where we get you. We must suffer you until you see the other side. And dearly beloved brethren, it's good you know. If what the scripture is saying is real, no child of God, true child of God will feel as soon as he closes his eyes, the blessings will begin to flow. Say, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. These are invisible forces. You can't see them. Yet, they are there. Yielding undue influence. Diverting people's finances, frustrating them, making them to feel that wealth <laughs> is not for your family lineage. Success, oh no, forget it. People, like, have you forgotten who your grandfather was? How do you think you can see light? But my Bible made me to understand this proverb shall no longer be used in Israel. That the fathers have eaten unripe grapes, the teeth of the young ones are at edge. The soul that sin it shall die. The father shall not bear the iniquity of the son, neither the son bear the iniquity of the father. Because of that, I will make it. 
Because of that, that evil of the late wicked man cannot grab me. I will exceed. But not just mere confession. Confession without this one says, any car that all of us, everybody will be looking. This one will be facing the side where her car will come. This one will be facing the side where his own will come. See, yes. See my motto. See my motto. That big Toto. See, he, see, he. It is my motto. They were there jubilating. He has gotten a car. The car will pass there. It's my car. Till billion years, they cannot own, someone said, if wishes are horses. What happens? Sunday, open doors. These are wishes. But if someone doesn't will it to himself, <laughs> the wishes will become useless. I wish you this. I wish you that. That's okay. But there is a part man must play. There are forces who hate those wishes. There are forces who vowed and said, no, we can't allow it. There are spiritual forces take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore having your loins got about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace above all taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to do what to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked all the unseen arrows of the wicked on the path to your breakthrough. The arrows are flying. Pia, pia, pia. I remembered many years ago someone promised me some money. I left a bony state. I was to leave a bony state to move to that state for the money. In the night, I would travel in the morning. I had a dream, terrible one. And this dream could just make me to say, I'm going nowhere. Because of the fear and the troubles on the journey, I closed my eyes. And I prayed and took authority, scattered all the plans of the enemy and rendered them useless. By the time I got there, the individual saw me and said, Chai, if I didn't see you now, I've almost spent this money. <laughs> Are you seeing it? Some of you, when good things will come on your way, dreams that will make you doubt whether God is in this business will come. To discourage you, so I say, God, thank you for making me to step out in faith after my prayers. Or else I would have missed that money. This is a, a man who came from a poor, wretched family. The father never had money to send him to school. But he sent him out to go and serve. Someone came and picked him, took him to Cameroon. He was in Cameroon, served his master. There were two boys from Nigeria, and their master, a Nigerian too. And what happened? They finished. Why they were serving their master? This one said, if you first go back to Nigeria, and things become well with you, please remember me. The other one said, okay, if you first get back to Nigeria and things turn around good for you, please remember me. They kept to their promise. So they came back. The poor wretched one came back, went to farm. 
And this farmland is about, you can spend about, an, let's say, an hour, 30 minutes with bicycle from where people are living. We call it farm settlement. And the, there's no better road. It's bushy, meandering, meandering, meandering. And this man will take his bicycle and go there and come back. One of the days, why am I telling these stories? I'm talking about forces that contend over your finances. I want you to understand it in practical terms. Because if I go reading only Bible, you may not understand. So, and I happen to be his pastor. With the farm settlement, I planted a church in that place. And the church was planted, used, our chair is wood. We cut wood that had this, dug here, put one here, put one at the center, put one at the center. After building, they cut long wood, cross it, bench has come. Then we use raffia because it's a farm settlement and use our mud did it, it was a wonderful church for the farm settlement. And so I've been binding and losing, just believing God that one of the one day, my people will have door will open for them. And so one of the evenings, a relation came to him, this is my church member. I called him so, so and so. He answered, he said, I heard your name in Abia State Radio Corporation. Me? Are you not so so and so? And the person that called said, My name is this, and I'm looking for so so and so. Tell him to come to see me at so so and so number at Omaha. Are you not so so and so? Say, I am. Do you know so so and so? Yes, that's my fellow boy, but now this is a millionaire. He traveled to Omaha with the address over the radio because according to them, that's how they used to do in Cameroon in those days. And so he got there, came back. He said, Pastor God had answered your prayers. Hey, come and see me. I was rejoicing. I said, poverty has gone. Suffering has gone. Everything. So he said, Pastor, do you know that this, my friend, is now a real wealthy man. He took me to the shop. He said, look at this, look at that. He showed me to his uh, people and every other thing. He told me, I don't trust Nigerians. You know, why we were in Cameroon, we trusted ourselves. From today, you are now my manager. He didn't go to school. He said, you are now my manager. That car is for you. That young man is your driver. Hey, come and see me, jubilating. And he was rejoicing. I was rejoicing. I was now, when are you moving down to Omaha? So that he will be there. If it becomes well with him, it will become well with me in the village. Are you getting what you are saying? So, my, I was waiting. I met him. I said, yes, when are you traveling? He said, Pastor, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, he said, see me. He said, I'm, Pastor, I'm not going anywhere. I said, my brother, what is it? I was in a dream. He said, he was in a dream. Going to Amisha to buy goods. Arm robber stopped him and killed him. Hey, I said, my brother, these are the powers from your father's house. Who have seen what? He said, no, 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 no. That's the way he talks. No, 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 Pastor, leave it. Pastor, leave it. Hey, I begged him. I, be I said, my brother, please, come. I think I prayed and this thing happened. Let me cancel that. He said, no, 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 no. Do I know my brother brought out his bicycle and started pumping it? to go back to the farm settlement. I was standing moping at him. I 
I thought I was talking to a human being. He put his matchet in the bicycle. Pastor, okay, bye-bye. Hey! I turn back. Forces contending over your finances. He didn't know that these are powers. Assuming that young man understood what I was saying. And my prayer that opened the door, that made his old friend to remember him, my prayer would have cancelled that. But because of the dream he had, which was no dream, what is it? How can he become a big man when his father died as a pan wine tapa? In which compound will such a good car enter? Not in this compound. We are here at this moment. I don't know the dream you had since we declared prosperity is my birthright. I don't know the dwarves that are like this, laughing at you. This nonsense, this stupid idiot. Prosperity is his birthright. Thunder fire you. See, see, see your head. Where will it come? In this compound? Not in this compound. Our people, what are you saying? Where you, what, where you stand is where we stand. You don't know they are there. And they are laughing. Not just laughing. They are working against you. They are making sure that you don't even believe me. And that's why so many of them who should have been here, they are not here. Say, so forget it. What is Pastor Water talking? And all the rest. Uh, prosperity is my battery. What is it he will say he has never said? Brethren, listen to this. Deliverance is not automatic. I will prove it in all, in any angle. Deliverance is never automatic. And that's why many don't follow till the door opens. Many don't follow. And that's why many abscond and go to look for power to support. I've said this time without number. Okay, let me start here. You came from a poor, wretched family. Your grandfather was a poor, wretched person. Can you stand up? Your grandfather was a poor, wretched. So, okay, hold on. Stay as you are. Remain where you are. Now, if your grandfathers were wealthy, as you want me to believe, you won't be like this. If your grandfather was wealthy, and your father was wealthy, you can't suffer this. If it is, something else has gone wrong with you. I, I disagree. I can't accept. It's unfortunate some of us don't know our roots. Ah, that's a problem. How many of us do surprise? I'm not surprised. Few of you, I'm not surprised. That's a prayer point my wife raised. And it is that prayer point that is working now. That some people, are, how did you put it? I think it's, it wasn't she that raised it. Because later that prayer point helped me as a person. What is it? Somebody feeling that he's okay when he's not. That's the worst thing that can happen. If you don't know where you came from, I said, if your father, was, your grandfather was poor and wretched, sit down. I, I stand up. Everybody was. One sluggishly stood up. I hammered and hammered. Another person stood up. Which means you are not ready for prosperity. That is it. Because for you to move forward, you must know where you are. If where, it is when you, where you are is not comfortable that you desire a better place. But now you are telling me you are comfortable where you are. Why do I trouble myself? But do you know why I disagree with you? I had to disagree. Because if your grandfather was wealthy and your father inherited the wealth, you wouldn't be going through what you are going through today. Okay, sit down, those of you. <laughs> These, the, the rest are, their roots are wealthy roots. Okay. 
Let me believe with you. Then where is your wealth? I met a man, and the man from my former church made me understand that the meaning of his name is wealth. Then I said, bro, where is your wealth? They say a fool at 40 is a fool forever. You don't even know your background. You don't know what you're going through. Then how do you look for solution? If your father, you came from a poor and rich. So I need to preach this message before you will know where you came from. I think they are not, you are, they are not sure. Okay, uh, that's all right. Now, you came from a wealthy, your grandfather was a wealthy man. Can you come out here? Those standing, stand, keep standing. Your grandfather was a wealthy man. Can you come out? Okay. Uh, there's something come, come out. Those of you sitting down, you are not police. You are not caught a man. Which one do you belong? You are, your grandfather was not wealthy. Your grandfather was wealthy. So you, are, you, don't, you don't belong to anything? <laughs> it's only you that will deliver yourself because I don't know where you came from see them sitting down that side their grandfather was not rich their grandfather was rich I don't know which one to believe see them sitting down the other side their grandfather was wealthy their grandfather at the same time was poor. Hmm. Okay, let me take the few. Okay, those of you who are here, look at me standing. Where is your wealth? It's a serious question. Listen, I love taking challenge. And anybody that cannot take challenge in life will suffer a lot. We went for international ministers conference in England. I, pastors, bishops from Nigeria, we met at the bookshop. So um, our color distinguished, you know, I'm black. <laughs> but you can call me Oyibo, but when I we over there, they said, this is a black man from Africa. So we, our color distinguished us. So we were talking in the bookshop and introducing ourselves. This one said, I'm Bishop so-and-so from Lagos. Oh, God bless you. This one said, I'm Bishop so-and-so from Abuja. This one said, I'm from this. The other one said, I was the only one from Port Harcourt. I said, Pastor Walter from Port Harcourt. Come and see. Everybody say, the man from Oye City. Hey. I came back from that conference. I looked to my body. Where is the oil? No, listen, be realistic. Listen, if you don't understand what everybody is feeling, I am the man from oil city. Which means all around me will be full of oil. Meaning full of money. That's what they are talking about. I started asking myself, where is the money? I am in the ocean of wealth. Where is my portion? Those of you who are here, I challenge you, where is your wealth? Listen to me, any part of the globe where you are watching me from, listen to this. This one happened at Aba. I went for a, the last meeting I went. 
a lady came out to give testimony. And this lady said, Pastor, somebody invited me to your last meeting and I was there. He said that God will open our eyes and show to us. And while I was ministering in Port Harcourt, she was there at her back. Her friend invited her. At the end of it all, she went back. God opened her eyes. She saw her grandfather, whom she never knew as a child. She had never seen. And the grandfather told her that who he was. He was a wealthy man. And he said, before he died, he buried the wealth of the family. Am I those of you standing? This story is going for you. You see, deliverance we are talking about, deliverance comes out in diverse ways. The information that you are getting that will bring you out from deform deformation is deliverance. Am I talking to somebody? Use what happened to another person to know what you are going through and see how to come out of their mess. So she said, in that trance, he said, today, your name, I've changed it. He went and dug and see the wealth of the family, take it. You will be moving with escort. You will be like former minister of finance. In fact, he said in that dream, the, the grandfather said, that's the person you will be like now. She woke up. It was a dream. She used phone, called her father, and said, Papa, I saw your father. Say, shut up. Were you born when he died? This girl gave the description of whom she saw, and the father said, that's my father. He said, Papa, your father was a wealthy man. He said, yes. My daughter, how do you know? Because she wasn't born when all these things happened. He now said, before he died, he buried the wealth of the family. He said, my daughter, you may be right. I am the son. I couldn't inherit anything. He now told, shared the whole, what the father said. But what am I just trying to say? Listen. So, my, where he touched me is this. After that revelation, she didn't come back to the church. She continued in her former church and lost it. Today, where others are lifting heaps of fairly used clothes. Five, five, naira. Five, five, naira. Only seek her by your top. Whosoever that wants us to naked her, come. You see them in my one? You see them, uh, where is it? Oh, you mean market? Uh, am I saying the truth? Am I the only one living in, I say, Pastor, Pastor what, how do you know? Don't I move around? So, now, see somebody who would have been employing people. She made, she did not make good use of what revelation she got. She went back to her church that didn't understand what is being said. And the power said, thunder fire you. Come on, continue lifting fairly used clothes. That destiny had been lost. Those of you who are standing You are on the track towards turning things around for good. Yeah. Why do I say that? When you know what you are going through, solution is imminent. When you understand the, what you inherited, how to come out of it will be there. But to those of us who are sitting down relaxing, 
We are not of Sokoto. Neither, neither are we of Sokoto. We're just there. Yeah, it's not my brother is getting up. <laughs> it's not in my hand. It's in your hand. You hold your deliverance. Not miracle now, your deliverance. It's in your hand. My dear, you can go back. I've challenged you. You go back, begin to demand, where is my wealth? If my father, if my grandfather was wealthy, I can't be going through. When we were building this place, I think we were laying, this building was a kind of rising towards the back. I was moving around to supervise the work. So there are two young men. This, they were talking among themselves. I, I, I was just, I had overheard them. This one said, thunder fire my grandfather. Assuming he kept money in, my, in the pocket, this block I'm carrying, will I be carrying it? And all the rest. In other words, if he inherited wealth, he shouldn't be carrying block on his head. Where is your wealth? And those of us that inherited poverty and hardship and suffering, it is in your hand to turn things around for good. Rise up on your feet. We are going to fight. Rise up on your feet. Powers contending over your finances must be wasted. Whatsoever be the power that said, not in this compound. Somebody will stand and say, it must take place in this compound. Wealth must take place in this compound. Open your mouth and begin to declare, wealth must take place in the compound I came from. Wealth must take place in the compound I came from. Wealth must take place in the compound I came from. Riches must take place in the compound I came from. No matter the powers that oppose it, I will change the situation. 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 My brother, open your mouth and begin to declare. Sister, any part of the world, open your mouth and begin to declare. I must change the situation. 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 To those of you, your grandfather was wealthy. Where is my wealth? Where is my wealth? You are the one holding my wealth. You buried the wealth I should inherit. Anywhere you buried it, I dig it up. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. You powers contending over my finances. From my father's compound. From my mother's compound. From the community where I came from. Anywhere you are, come out. Anywhere you are, come out. Anywhere you are, come out. It is time for battle. I challenge you by the name of the Lord. Mighty Jehovah, I am standing by the authority. In the name of Jesus, commanding the powers, the group of forces, challenging, contending over my finances. Anywhere you are, the power of the Lord descend on you. The power of the Lord destroy you. The power of the Lord destroy you. The dynamite of the Almighty dismantle you. Destroy you, destroy you, destroy you. Destroy you. Brother, pray. Sister, pray. Sister, pray. This is the time. Somebody must change it. Somebody must change it. Somebody must change it. 
Somebody must change it. Somebody must change it. Wealth must be my portion. Wealth must locate me. Riches 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 must locate me. Brother, pray. Sister, pray, pray. This is a serious moment. Somebody must change the situation in the compound. Somebody must change the situation in the family. Somebody must change the situation in the family. Be that one. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Open your eyes. Listen to this. After that, my member disappointed me. I removed my eyes from my member. I say, God, visit me. God, locate me. Listen, listen to this, brethren. It's good you really know. To those of you who are standing by the word of the living God. Those of you who cannot allow dream to counter God's plan. Why God revealed the dream is to make you do something to stop it from coming to pass. If God wanted it, he wouldn't have let you know and that would have destroyed you. And he shouldn't make you to stop doing what you want to do. You pray against it, you dismantle it, step out. Step out. That pool of water you saw at the express, at the heat of the sun, and it was like pool of water. Physicists call it shimmer. It's the reflection of the sun on the third road. It's not water. You'll be wondering, let me slow down or apply brake. I, I don't know. Have you seen such? On a highway, clean tarred road. And it's like pool of water is there. On the heat of the sun is reflection. But the powers will tell us that is pool of water. If you continue this way, you are going to. So forget it. Turn back. It's a lie. You won't even know when you passed it. Because it wasn't real. It's not real. We are going to challenge all those dreams you had. Terrorizing dreams. Dreams making you to know that A, nobody, no great-grandchild will ever amount to anything in this village. You are going to tell them, my case will be different. My case, my case. Can I hear you say, my case is different. My case is different. My case is different. Open your mouth and begin to address them. Mighty Jehovah, I am standing by the authority in the name of Jesus, challenging the powers and the forces from my village, from my mother's side, from my father's side. I address all of you. I tell you my case is different. You stopped others, you cannot stop me. You stopped others, you cannot stop me. You frustrated others, you cannot frustrate me. I command your power over my life be shattered. Over my ministry be wasted. In the name of Jesus. My case is different. My case is different. My children's case is different. They cannot go through what other children are going through. They cannot go through what other children are going through. My case is different.
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I command the wealth of the family that have been sold out. You wealth. Whosoever that purchased you by fire, by force. I recover it. The wealth of the family. The glory of the family. I command you, come back. I say, 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 come back. The weight of the family 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 come back. From the marine kingdom, come out. From the water spirit, come back. Come back. The weight of the family 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 come back. The weight of the family. I command my world. I recover the world. La baya kasata. Baranda yemoko. The weight of the family I recover. The weight of the family I recover. The riches of the family I recover. From the east I recover them. From the west I recover them. From the north I recover them. From the south I recover them. The wealth of the family. I recover 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 the wealth of the family. In Jesus' name we pray. My God, my Father. Any power that cannot submit. Die. I said die. I said die. I said die. I said die. You cannot submit die. You cannot submit die. You cannot submit that. It is my turn to take over. It is my turn to take over. I recover the wealth of the family. By fire, by force. 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 I recover. I recover. I recover. I recover. In Jesus name we pray you that blocked my way to progress at the count of three disappear one disappear two disappear three disappear open your mouth and command them to disappear the power of the Almighty descend upon them. Demolition, destruction, crushing. The power knock you down, knock you down. From the water, I overpower you. Cut off your head. From the evil forest, I destroy you. From the great grandfathers, I destroy you. From the compound, I burn you to ashes. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Spirit of fear. Spirit of fear. Can you say it loud and clear? What are you doing in my life? Jump out and die in the name of Jesus. Jump out and die. 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 Spirit of fear. Jump out and die. Jump out and die. Jump out and die. Jump out and die. In the name of Jesus.
In Jesus' name we pray. You foundation of suffer, suffer. That I inherited. Your time has expired. You foundation of hardship and poverty. That I inherited. By birth. Or by marriage. Be destroyed by fire. Amen. See, everybody, you are going to face down. Face down. You'll be looking down, using it to locate your father's house, to the compound where you got married to, and where you were married from. And begin to destroy those foundations. Foundation of hardship. Foundation of laboring and somebody else will come and collect it from you. Whatever be that foundation, that you hate progress, that you hate good thing. Hey, my God, my father, my God. you foundation I inherited. You have never favored me. You have never favored me. I command you be destroyed. I command you be destroyed. Open your mouth and begin to destroy them. Mighty Jehovah, I am releasing three layers of atomic bomb. Bombing and blessing. Destroying the foundation from my grandfather, my great grandfather. You are you never helped me. I destroy you. You hated wealth. You hated riches. You never wanted it. I destroy you. I destroy you. I destroy you. I destroy you. I command your power in my mother's place. The dynamite of Jehovah. Destroy you right away. Destroy you right away from my mother's place. Destroy you by fire in my in-laws' place. I destroy you, destroy you, destroy you and destroy you. Amen. Amen. I speak to you, family. The compound I address you from now henceforth repent and receive progress. Repent and receive wealth. Repent and receive long life. Repent and receive riches. Open your mouth and begin to address that compound. Mighty Jehovah, I am standing by the power in the name of Jesus addressing the compound I came from. I command the compound, repent, repent, repent. Receive wealth, receive long life, receive progress, receive riches. Receive it, receive it, receive it. The closed doors open. I command good things of this life begin to come in. Begin to come in, begin to come in, begin to come in, begin to come in, begin to come in. Jesus name we pray sister Efe where is your riches if you answer Efe here can I see your hand no one those who answer Efe wealth money brother Oba where is your riches? Oba means wealth. Am I talking to somebody? Brother, what's your name? Pit toilet. I met a barrister in Port Harcourt here. After preaching, the barrister said, Pastor Water, no one has ever told me the truth than you. This message is all about me. In my chamber, I don't see people come there. You've opened my eyes to discover the name, the meaning of my name. The meaning of my name means pit toilet. Is, is anybody going to pit toilet in our modern days? What are the things you see in pit toilet? 
big tombo. Hey, hey. If you know what I'm saying, can I see your hand? What's your name? My God, my Father. Any name I answer that has not favored me, I drop you today. 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 I answer well to where is my wealth. I answer favor. Where is my favor? I answer blessing. Where is my blessing? I answer light. Why am I in darkness? In Jesus' name we pray. Close your eyes. I'm praying for you right now. Heavenly Father, at this moment, I'm moving in the realm of the Spirit to every family or compound represented here that hates world, progress. You are the power contending over their riches, contending over their finances. Any part of the globe where you are, receive fire! Receive fire! Receive fire! Receive fire! The fire of the Lord hit you very well. The fire of the Lord hit you very well. The fire of the Lord hit you very well. The fire of the Lord hit you very well. The fire of the Lord destroy you right away. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I trouble them that said not in this compound. I trouble them that vowed and said nobody will make it in this family. Those who inherited poverty, I pull them out of that inheritance. I release them to go and shine in the name of Jesus Christ. Every man made suffering. Wicked uncle. Wicked auntie. But locked his brother's children. And said they will not amount to anything. The fire of God. Move now. Trouble you right away. They assisted you with their money. You use it to tie them. You use it to close their business. You use it to nail them. You use it to keep them marking time. Today, let their power be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the power be shattered in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I break every breakable. I break every chain on their way to progress. I break every power or standing on their way. I command the forces sitting on their world. Die! The world, the world, the riches, you are the power. You are the personality. You are saying, if every other person can get it, this one cannot. Where are you? Pastor, if this one gets it, Pastor, my kingdom is finished. Where are you? The power of the Almighty torture you now. Pastor, not in this compound. We agreed and we decided since they rejected us, we took away wealth from them. 
until they come back to us, we will not allow them to get anything in life. Pastor, ask her. Pastor, ask him. Let him tell you his story. I don't need the story. What I am saying now is your time has expired. Let the quickening power, the earthquake attached in the name Jesus, scatter that compound. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. Lord, those they turn their lives upside down. I return their lives back to original. Those they tie their hands and they say not, nothing good, no good money We enter into their hands. Right now, anywhere you are, the fire of the Lord descend on that hand. Let that hand catch fire. Let that hand catch fire. Amen. 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 And whatsoever that was done in that hand, I destroy the power in the name of Jesus Christ. You are the ancestral spirits. You are the gods of the land. You said, Pastor, you are spoiling these children. You have made them to hate us. And we have decided they cannot enjoy life. Pastor, I am the one holding them. Where are you? Come out. Pastor, I said no. Until they recognize me. Where are you? Come out. I tied their marriage, not only money. I said they cannot marry. These children burnt my altar. These children burnt my idols, my gods. Pastor, I said I will show them pepper. Pastor, remove your hand. This is a family matter. Where are you? Lord, I trouble their hideouts. Anywhere they are hiding. Saying that the fire is, over, is too hot. That you are waiting for them outside. I come outside. Drag you inside. Cut off your head in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let your power move all over the world and begin to destroy the powers that are contending over their wealth, over their riches, sitting on their progress, vowed and said, nobody will go beyond this level. That level, I scatter it in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I am asking at this very moment I need a testimony. Amen. All your sons and daughters that had never known this word called favor in life. Lord, I pray by this time next week let the meaning be their lifestyle. Let the meaning of the word favor be their experience in the name of Jesus. Favor in the left, favor at the right, favor in front, favor at the back, anywhere they go to from now henceforth. Let people favor them 
In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I'm asking every closed gate towards their life progress. I open those gates. I open those gates. I open those gates. I open those gates. And I command them to move in and take that which belongs to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch for to your right hand towards me. The hour has come. The hour has come. The hour has come. The hour has come. Father, glorify your name. The hour has come. Father, glorify your name. The hour has come. Oh, the hour has come. The hour has come. The hour has come. The hour has come. Father, glorify your name. The hour has come, Father, glorify your name. The hour has come. Heavenly Father, having waged war against the powers contending over their finances, Lord, I'm asking this moment. Open them up into a better glorious horizon. Yeah. Let their lifting be the one that the world will see and they remove their caps for you. Yeah. Lord, I am asking favor they have never experienced. Blessings they've never experienced. Open doors they've never experienced. Oh God, embarrass them with the blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray. Do something that will make them know. That this is the finger of the Lord. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. And let everyone say.